comments like this are pouring into us here at the Midas Touch Network, so share yours if it's like this. Someone writes to us, Hi, my name is Nick and I'm a recovering MAGA supporter. I was a staunch supporter of Trump, but as time has gone on, I've grown tired of his hate and rhetoric. I've never seen anyone that can't even take the slightest amount of criticism. Also, I woke up to the fact that any news Trump doesn't like is fake news to him. His supporters will say the other side is a bunch of sheep. I actually think that MAGA supporters are the true sheep. Another comment, I was MAGA from about 2017 to 2021. What caused me to get into MAGA was that I felt the media did lie about Trump a lot and it led me to buy into his mythos. What made me see Trump for who he was was January 6th. I ignored it for about six months, but then decided to look into it. And that's when I saw all Trump had done to subvert the election. And that snowballed into me being completely opposed to the man. We get another uh, comment over here that says, the one person who got me not only out of MAGA, but the Republican Party was none other than Trump himself. The moment he asked if we could inject disinfectant to cure the disease, I became a Biden voter. January 6th made me change my party affiliation to Democrat, and I never looked back. Mina writes, I left MAGA a couple of years ago after I realized how much of a monster Trump is. I have not looked back ever since. Voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls this election, let's bring back true democracy to the United States. And again, I'm not sure if you saw what Donald Trump was doing last night. He was holding these weird, uh, this weird spaces audio chat on X, formerly Twitter. And one of the things that Donald Trump said was that he's like, I think that China and Russia are our friends, basically. Here, watch what Donald Trump said last night. Play the clip. Uh, we've been treated, I think, very unfairly, but uh, I've done so well. It's, it's, you know, it's an amazing country in some ways, but we have evil forces. You have the outside forces with the enemies and, you know, you call them uh, Russia, China, various places. I don't know that they're enemies. I think we'll get along great with China. I think we'll get along great with Russia. I want to get Russia to uh, settle up with, with Ukraine and stop this. Millions of people being killed, far greater than the number you read about. But I want to get that done before I even take office. I want to get that done as president-elect. And I want you to think about that. I mean, Russia and China have literally formed an alliance to try to weaken and attack the United States. It's why I think ads like this for Vice President Kamala Harris going on the offense against Donald Trump for the threat he poses to our democracy and our country and the fact that he wants to make America subservient to Putin. Here, watch this ad. When Mongol warriors stormed Ukraine, Kiev's church bells rang a night warning. They rang again when Ukrainians rallied for democracy. Today, they're warning the world of Putin's threat to freedom. Yet Donald Trump embraces Putin. I like Putin, he likes me. He picked J.D. Vance. I don't really care what happens to Ukraine. But Kamala Harris cares. She knows standing up to Putin keeps America safe. Here's another, I think, powerful ad for Vice President Kamala Harris. Here, play the clip. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And when one man is enslaved, all are not free. American presidents, Republican and Democrat, have always defied Russia's communist dictators and defended American ideals. Kamala Harris gets this. If we stand by while an aggressor invades its neighbor with impunity, they will keep going. Kamala Harris will stand up to Putin, protect our allies, and keep us safe. And this one uses the words of Vice President, uh, of uh, former Vice President Pence and Donald Trump's former advisors who say that Donald Trump is unfit. Here, play this clip. In 2016, Donald Trump said he would choose only the best people to work in his White House. Now those people have a warning for America. Trump is not fit to be president again. Here's his vice president. Anyone who puts themselves over the Constitution should never be president of the United States. It should come as no surprise that I will not be endorsing Donald Trump this year. His defense secretary. Do you think Trump can be trusted with the nation's secrets ever again? No. I mean, it's just irresponsible action that places uh, our service members at risk, places our nation's security at risk. His national security advisor. Donald Trump will cause a lot of damage. The only thing he cares about is Donald Trump. And the nation's highest ranking military officer. We don't take an oath to a king or a queen or to a tyrant or a dictator. 
And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. Take it from the people who knew him best. Donald Trump is a danger to our troops and our democracy. We can't let him lead our country again. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. Also, these testimonials are pouring in. Republican voters against Trump, they do an excellent job at this. Here are the Republican voters against Trump as highlighting Brett, a veteran and two-time Trump voter from Texas, who will be supporting Vice President Kamala Harris play this clip. I don't care who's opposing Trump. I will vote for democracy. In this case, it happens to be Kamala Harris. I will vote for Kamala Harris to preserve our democracy. Hi, I'm Brett, and I'm from Florida. I served in the United States Air Force. I'm a two-time Trump voter. I've been a lifelong Republican up until recently. I left the Republican Party and are now independent because of where the Republican Party is now. It's really the party of Trump. I supported Trump all the way up until he tried to overturn the election in 2020. And I heard that with my own ears. So that's not something that someone just told me and I believe that I saw it for myself, heard it for myself. And so I will not vote for that man. I don't want him anywhere near the White House. I do not want to vote for a dictator. I want the democracy to stay the way it is. This election is about, do I want a democracy? Or do I want a dictator? I want a democracy. I don't care who's opposing Trump. I will vote for democracy. In this case, it happens to be Kamala Harris. I will vote for Kamala Harris to preserve our democracy. And here, the Republican governor of Ohio, Mike DeWine, he had to step in and say, look, what Donald Trump and J.D. Vance are saying about Springfield, Ohio, and the Haitian community is false, and it's causing a lot of harm in Ohio. Here, play the clip. At least 33 separate uh, bomb threats, each one of which uh, has been uh, responded to, and each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. So 33 uh, threats, 33 hoax. I want to make that very, very clear. None of these had any validity uh, at all. Uh, We know uh, that people are very, very uh, concerned. Uh, And we have taken some actions. And uh, in a moment, I'll let uh, Andy Wilson go into more detail. Uh, but we've moved resources uh, into into Springfield. So I want to say to the parents in Springfield, uh, these hoaxes, have, these, these threats uh, have all been hoaxes. None of them have panned out. Uh, we have people, uh, unfortunately, overseas uh, who are taking these actions. Uh, some of them are coming from one particular country. Um, we think that this is, uh, you know, one more opportunity to mess with the United States and they're, they're continuing to do that. So we cannot let the bad guys win. Uh, our schools must remain open. So I don't know if you saw the video I posted yesterday with Rich Logis, who started the group Leaving MAGA. Let me just share with you, um, the DNC speech that Rich Logis gave here. Play the clip. My name is Rich Logis. I live in Florida. And until two years ago, I was a full-fledged member of MAGA. I believe Trump. I was a MAGA pundit. I had my own podcast. I was in a state of panic, terrified that Democrats were destroying our country. When the pandemic hit, we needed leadership, but we were given almost nothing. It was a major betrayal to the country. So I finally stepped outside the MAGA echo chamber. I stopped listening to what Trump said and looked around with my own eyes. And I realized he had been lying about pretty much everything. Lying is Trump's toxic superpower. He's ripped apart families, communities, our whole country. So this is my message to all the Republicans and independents who are watching. People like me who voted for and believed in Trump. I made a grave mistake, but it's never too late to change your mind. You don't need to agree with everything you hear tonight to do what is right. We need to be able to trust our leaders. That's why I'm all in for Kamala Harris. And I got to speak with Rich Lowe just yesterday. He's going to be producing a lot more videos for us on the Midas Touch Network, where he's going to be interviewing people who have left MAGA, how they left MAGA, 
what you can do to talk to your MAGA relatives. I think it's going to be great. But Rich said something interesting. One of the things that binds people to MAGA is the sense of community. Their whole life is now entangled in the MAGA lifestyle, the MAGA world, MAGA friends. And so getting out of it is like literally like getting out of a cult. Here's what Rich Lowe just said to me yesterday. Play the clip. I mention a lot and I will mention this so many times in the coming many, many months of us working together that MAGA is a community. And one of the reasons it was so difficult for me to leave, and it's one of the reasons it's very diff- it's going to be difficult for others to leave, is that when you are so invested in a community, not just financially, but it's part of your being, it's part of your identity, walking away from that is really frightening. And so, yes, we are going to make a, an appeal to those with friends and with family who are in MAGA, who feel like they're never going to have the kinds of relationships again that they had before Trump came on the political scene. But a lot of, Ben, what we do also is going to be for MAGA Americans themselves, because it is my belief, and it's the wager that I'm making, that over time, I think it's happening actually right now, albeit probably a bit more quiet, but I think that it's going to happen over time where more and more who are in MAGA are going to start to have those doubts, and they're going to start to question their support. But if they don't have a new place to go, it makes it less likely that they will leave, even if they know that they should. So that's why leaving MAGA, really, we are creating a community to counter the toxic community of MAGA. You know, and look, I I, I think that this clip is one that you can share with your MAGA friends. This is Governor Wall saying, okay, I hear people saying the Trump policies, like what are his policies? Here, play this clip. This is important. This is important and you all know it because look, we all deal with it. Friends, neighbors, family. Oh, I like Donald Trump. You know, I don't really like how he swears and gets convicted of felonies and found liable for assaulting women. I I don't really like that. Good, I'm glad you don't like that. But then they always go, I like his proposals. Which one? Taking your health care, forcing women to bleed out in parking lots because they can't get health care tax cuts for billionaires. And I say this, if you're a billionaire and that's all you care about, he may be your guy. But if you're a working class person, a middle class person, a community member, I can't find much there. And the thing is, you don't have to look very far. He's not giving you much detail, except it's really great. They made it easy for us. They printed 900 plus pages in Project 2025. Yeah, I mean, and at the end of the day, I mean, you've got Trump posting weirdo photos of himself, like putting himself next to Elvis. Like, I don't even know what that is. You've got Donald Trump um, just, again, going up there. And it's just the the constant whining like this. Play it. You saw it. Uh. That's one of the things Governor Wall said. Like, can this guy just stop whining? Here, play the clip. Here's what I'm most proud of. I'm proud with our side of things. While Donald Trump spent his time whining, crying, grievance filled. Oh, they did me wrong. They did me wrong. It's difficult to be born with millions of dollars. It's difficult to not pay your bills. It's difficult to have the Supreme Court say you can do whatever the hell you want with no consequence. Apparently that's difficult for him. Kamala Harris spent no time doing that. She talked about you and she talked about the future. She talked about the future. We'll continue to report on more people leaving MAGA. We're going to start bringing on more leaving MAGA videos as well. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.